For today's lesson, we're going to be using chalk pastels. First thing you're going to do is start off by drawing your shape. So starting in pencil, I'm going to draw a cone first. I'm going to start off with my ruler. I'm going to make it nice and big. The cone shape is a triangle on top. and the bottom is a curve. So the first thing you wanna do when you start drawing your shape is choose a background color. Now, for my background color, I'm going to choose a cool color. Cool colors would be purple, violet, uh, blue, or green. So I'm going to choose green for my background. Um, what you need to do to create a background is draw a horizon line or a table line. Try and make it straight all the way from one edge of your paper to the other. It also helps to outline your shape. When shading in large spaces, I actually like to use the side of the chalk. Now after you've colored in your background, you need to choose a color for the foreground, the table that the shape is actually sitting on. So I'm going to go with a warm color, which would be yellow, orange, red, or I tend to group pink in with the warm colors because pink is made from red and white. So I'm going to go ahead and outline my shape. Once you have the background and the foreground shaded in, you're ready to do your actual 3D shape. So for mine, I'm going to choose orange, because I feel like this is a bright color that will actually um, pop off the page. So the first thing you want to do is actually shade the whole thing in one solid color. Whoops. Now I'm ready to start my shading to make it look 3D. So I'm actually going to take a darker color. I could either use a darker orange or a red. I'm going to try the darker orange first. And I'm going to shade half of it, that darker color. And as you can see that one half is darker than the other, I'm going to shake off my dust. And I'm actually going to go in and add a little bit of red in there just to make that a little bit darker. Now the next part is blending. So I'm actually going to take my finger and blend back and forth. all the way from top to bottom, running back and forth. I'm going to smooth out the whole cone so it looks nice and smooth. And I'm actually going to leave the background not smoothed out to give it a little bit of texture. Now, to make it look even more 3D, what I'm going to do is take black. I'm going to go along my darker edge. And a little bit along the bottom. Just going to blend that in. Okay. 
I'm also going to take white and I'm going to add a highlight. take the white and add a little bit more of a highlight in here. I'm trying to find a clean finger because as you can see it gets pretty messy. And there we have the 3D shaded cone. Now you could keep going in and shading, you could keep layering, you could go back over and brighten the color up. The last thing you could do is add a shadow. Now that shadow should come out from the bottom of your shape and kind of curve to one direction towards that darker side. Darkest, closest to the shape. And then I'm going to go ahead and fill in with some different colors. I'm going to use violet. And just for fun, I'm going to add a little bit of red in there, too. Go ahead and blend that in. And all done.